There is something that really amazed me every time I use with the L8 software. The dev team really invests a lot of time and in thinking into the whole section of mirrors and reflections. The mirror effect is not new, but reflecting the actual beams of light, that's pretty new and pretty unique. And today we're gonna see it live in action. Let's go! Most of the capabilities that I will show you here required you to have a trace license and the FP21 pack installed on your system. So for those who don't have it, don't worry. Your brother here arranged you with a new discount code just for you guys. I will post them to you at the end of this video, so stay tuned for it. Just making sure we are all on the same page. To change the state of an object to be a mirror, click on the mirror button in the material windows. As right now it's just a normal mirror, so if we turn the camera around, we can see what's in front of us. But if we take the cobra here and shine on the mirror, we will not get the effect that the real mirror does, which is reflecting the light beam. L8 can do that, but you will need FP21 to unlock the reflect light option. So get it and enable the reflect light option to each of the objects that you want. So now the mirror will return any ray that hit it, every color and shape. Even prism and frost blades, everything will work on it. Let's add another cobra to the equation. Of course, you can add as much as you want not even affect the performance of this software. I mean, the dev team done an amazing, amazing job on optimizing the performance using those reflections. Okay, so that's cool and all. Let's take it a step further. Let's use a mirror ball. As for any mirror balls, there's a lot of rays involved here. So now we should see the real capabilities of how it utilizes the graphic resources of your system. So let's select the ball and allow it to reflect light. Take one of the cobras and shine on the ball. See how that looks. That looks cool. Let's give it also a spin. And look at that beauty. Of course, all parameters are reflected here as well. Let's use another Cobra. As a software guy, the performance here is a big deal. I really appreciate the performance I see here. I can only imagine the amount of calculation the system is doing right now. I mean, to create such a visual live without the lags or significant loss of performance is nothing that amazing. So we done with that. Let's move another step up. Clay Paki came up with a very crazy looking device. It's called Reflection, Reflection or something like that. It has a double sided mirror that rotates. I think Varilite had something like that a while ago. I think it's called VLM. Yeah, I think VLM that was the name. They took the VL5 and VL6 yoke body and attach a reflective dual sided mirror panel. That was a cool one. So Clay Packy bring this idea to life again with this new one. Again, we're gonna take our Cobras and light the devices with them. To be honest guys, seeing this effect performed live flawlessly is one of the things that makes me personally ever, ever think about leaving this software. You always get a feeling the dev team set you one step ahead of everyone else. Quick challenge, if you know any parallel software that does any of these effects, I really appreciate if you can let me know in the comments below. Now, as I promised, new discount code. I'm gonna publish them on the screen right now and also gonna set them up in the video description so you can enjoy them and use them on the L8 online store. See you in the next one guys!